Hi, I'm Brandy. This is Hound Dog Hollow, and today we're going to be talking about the October Vlog Challenge Day 18, Herbs. This is a VR to Amethyst Ascension, the challenge is by Palm Tree V Witchery. Herbs, I'm going to take a different practical tone. I love herbs. We cook with a lot of herbs. Um, I am trying to be better about using herbs medicinally because we already cook with herbs extensively. Um, and so part of the thing that I'm working on with my magic is getting better at growing my own food and my own medicine and learning about how to use herbs. Um, because believe it or not, people in health sciences like nurse practitioners and doctors and PAs, we do learn about complementary and alternative medication or medicines, treatments, modalities. Um, and there is scientifically proven efficacy to certain herbs and um, things like acupuncture and chiropractor and massage, um, you know, breathing techniques, yoga. There's proven science. I believe 100% in science, but science backs herbs up. Um, I think that there's not that much research because, hey, why would you uh, fund research that says that, you know, a plant that costs pennies to grow uh, does the same thing as your $500 medication? You would not. So I think that the, the research is lacking because there's no money in it. But the research that we have done really does support um, herbs. This is not medical advice. Please, God, do not eat anything that you should not eat because I'm going to tell you the poison is in the dose and even water will kill you if you have enough of it too quickly. So do not just take things and be like, oh, how about Paula told me it was okay and she's a nurse. I did not say that. Don't do that. Talk to an actual professional doctor, nurse, nur MP, PA, even a licensed naturopath, somebody uh, before you put things in your body. Number one, please don't do that. Uh, but what I'm saying from my path is I am looking to expand on my herbs and medicinal healing, growing herbs, identifying herbs. I use them extensively culinarily, so growing them is also a plus in that I will have my own fresh herbs. Um, but I'm trying to get more into teas um, um, and, and making my own medicine. I would especially love to learn to make salves, um, like arnica salve, um, and maybe some like calendula things like that but that's in the future I'm not gonna speak to that because I'm not there yet I've just been growing a garden for several years and and not with as much success as I would hope um, at some point I'd like to use all all of my land for for the purpose of food and medicine uh, but I am not there yet because I don't I don't have the skills. So the herbs that I grew this year were lavender, peppermint, spearmint, um, lemon balm, bee balm, rosemary, thyme, oregano. Um, I had a basil. It died pretty early. And, uh, geez, there's probably more, but I can't even remember. I can't remember. Hmm. I think I said all the big ones. Um, which, of course, most of those I use culinarily anyway. The peppermint was really enchanting because my son picked those because he liked the way that it smells. He thinks they smell like candy, so they were actually his plants. And of course they were in pots because peppermint will just take over. You don't want to put mint in the ground unless you like have a way to contain it. Um, so that was really fun. We did get some herbs. Unfortunately, we had a cold snap and I did not get the lemon balm and the bee balm in, in time. And it, to it totally turned brown and died before I could get it. Um, and everything else, though, did come in. Oh, the basil. I think we killed the basil because we overwatered it. And it started to turn brown and it just died. So, so that one didn't make it this year. But, for the most part, we've been more successful growing herbs. And I do have plans to put in a more permanent perennial garden with things like your lavenders, your rosemaries, um, your longer term herbs. And um, to also expand my annual herbs that I am growing next year um, and having a plan to, to put them to use. So I, like I said, I want to learn how to make some, some more salves. And um, I'd like to make some steams, like the allergy steam that I got from Tame Vile Apothecary. I absolutely would love that. And um, some more medicinal teas to put up. 
So, I do believe that herbs have um, a lot of wonderful uses um, for all people, uh, culinarily, med medicinally, and then of course they're spiritually. Um, I actually don't use herbs as much as I could um, and in my practice and uh, I'd like to do maybe some more mojo bags maybe some more um, some more bags bag work um, some more um, oh that's not true I actually use it a lot in we have bonfires and we do I burn a lot of herbs ritually that way as well as woods um, I'm kind of rambling here so if I'm going to use herbs I use them to burn as offerings unless I'm eating them or using them topically or medicinally. Um, but magically, I'm trying to expand my knowledge. It'd be nice to, um, as it gets closer to the spring, to kind of uh, chat about that more, maybe make some witchy garden plans. If you have them, I would love to hear them. And um, as I work on mine, I will share them as well. This is longer than it need to be. <laughs> Sorry, it's rambling about herbs. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon.